the footies promo is going to be starting in less than 24 hours we do have this loading screen right here and it does look like this is for best of re-releases so all of these card designs could potentially be starting of course friday 6 p.m uk time all of them going to back into packs and this is going to be batch one then we could possibly see batch two maybe with future stars cards etc and maybe even a batch three which could potentially have team of the season cards we're going to have to see i'm sure ea sports will clarify tomorrow but moving into the predictions the main part of this video it's in no particular order and comment down below if i did miss out anyone else this looks like the confirmed card design for the winner sbcs or objectives and for all we know these cards in the past have always only been released in sbcs form so they can be position change sbcs fan voted or they can actually be objectives as well so let's get straight into this video now pedri is going to be a great card in my opinion he hasn't actually had too many special cards and those are the type of players ea sports do typically go for we were hoping he could get a festival of football sbc maybe a summer stars sbc it didn't happen so pedri could be absolutely amazing then we do have nick pope this is going to be one of those cards one of the whole point of footies historically it's to bring sweaty cards and to give them better more upgraded versions updated versions pretty much because gold nick pope inform nick pope it's still a pain now but we need something to keep up with all of the insane cards that we have seen we've had 99 messi 99 ronaldo we need someone to be able to stop them and who other than Nick Pope? So this is an example of how these footies upgrades, how the player selection pretty much is going to be going. Very similarly as well with Reese James, he did have two very popular future stars cards, especially his right back version. But right now he does need something updated to keep up with that. So I do think a Reese James footies could be very, very good indeed. Potentially 95 rated, good stats, of course, good links. So we could maybe see a card like Reese James. Renato Sanchez is going to be someone i've predicted for a very long time now in many different promos and i believe there's not too many dynamic images a little bit of a confession from our side but this could be an amazing card in ea sports finally you need to make it happen footies is probably going to be the last promo so fingers crossed ea sports please give us a renato sanchez the currently the best version you can get on the market is his 84 rated his is a Europa League card and then he does have an inform as well because that foot birthday was of course an SBC so I, this I guess is going to be another SBC but what can we do at least we are going to be getting another Renato Sanchez onto the game then we have gone for Quincy Promes. He has now transferred. He's no longer at Ajax, but I still think this could be a really good card, and hopefully it is going to be coming. Promes, please, needs to happen. Similar to Renato Sanchez, I've predicted him a lot. Then we are going to be having Pjanic. This was suggested by someone on stream. Quite a few of these were as well. I do think Pjanic could be a nice, decent card. We were worried we're going to have too many Premier League players, so this is definitely a good option. Barcelona, he could be quite linkable but for EA Sports to really make this usable I think the pace needs a little bit more of an upgrade maybe if he could get physical as well then that would be 90 plus in most of the midfield stats shooting of course is okay doesn't need to be too high but Pjanic could be a decent card for sure then we are going to be moving on to a very very interesting one like I said no particular order we do have defenders mixed in here Virgil van Dijk could potentially be a fitties card now this is maybe a little bit controversial well i think we understand the point of footies it's to give players who haven't actually had too many cards but they have to be deserving of it so it is a little bit controversial could van dyke actually be deserving if he didn't actually play this season maybe based on the hype of next season if he that, that cannot of course justify if he's been playing good this season well i guess the start of the season but this could maybe be a card I have suggested. We're going to have to see if EA Sports are going to make it happen or not. But it would have to be quite high rated because he did still get a team of the year card. So it's not super necessary, but maybe a Van Dyke card could be quite interesting. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this one. 
Next up, we are going to be seeing another defender, and this time it is going to be Kleber. If you do remember the showdown card, I believe that he did have, that was absolutely ruthless. I still have that card in my club, and it was very, very good. It was released quite early on in the game, but people are still using it now, even in June, maybe even in July, but this card would definitely be updated, and it would be a great, great card. His his overpoweredness would still carry over to this card, and you can just imagine with the stats, 99 pace we have given him, 99 physical. Guys, I think this is a card we should be concerned of if we are still playing weekend league, of course. But moving on to the next one, we are going to be having Sane. This is a great player. I like his build. I like his meta. Bayern Munich right now, of course. And I do think his foot birthday is good. It was definitely a very, very nice card. It was a very good card. But now, again, there needs to be a little bit of an update. And this Sane could be quite good. Is he going to be having a right wing card? Would it be central? We are going to have to see if he does get released and chosen by EA Sports. St. Just is going to be a nice little card as well. Perhaps if Kleber does come out, it would be a nice link up. Netherlands Dutch link up, of course. So I do think this is a, this was a popular card when his SBC did actually come out. A lot of people were hyped to go ahead and com complete it, but I didn't actually see him too much in foot champions, in division rivals. But I still think this could be a nice little footies card. Maybe as some sort of objectives, it could actually be quite nice if you do have any still Dutch players left, it could be pretty good. Maybe that Neres, if you still have it to link with him. Greenwood could potentially be a nice card. I do think all he got was an inform. Inform and a man of the match, I believe. Very, very low rated. Not usable at all. So to give him a usable version, Greenwood, it would be very nice. Maybe it would be like a little bit less high rated maybe it could be closer to 90s 91 maybe even 89 but i still think at least something would be quite good and again in sbcs maybe even on objectives if ea sports want to give it to us a, a, a greenwood would be very very nice in my opinion then we are going to be having saint maximin very, very similar in my opinion, but he did have that foot freeze card and that was actually worth around 1.3 million at its peak. So that is pretty crazy. I do think this card would be very, very hyped and it's a little bit similar, of course, to the Usman Dembele. Usman Dembele did also have the foot freeze at the same time, but he did then get a flashback card and that was a sort of SBC that now is the best version of Usman Dembele. So Saint Maximin maybe is waiting on his part and this would be the card that can actually get that 94 rate to St. Maximin potentially would be very, 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 very overpowered, of course. Speaking of overpowered cards, Gelson Martins is a card that has been completely forgotten about and he is very, very linkable. You've got Cristiano Ronaldo, you've got Bruno Fernandes, Nani, Zhao Felix, so many different cards. And I think Gelson Martins hasn't even had any special cards at all. He's literally got his gold, which is sitting at low, low, low 80s. So it's not usable at all. So this Gelson Martins needs to be introduced. This is a little bit for all the players, OG FIFA players, perhaps back in the days, this would be an absolutely legendary card. This Gelson Martins, extremely sweaty, perfect meta, and I think perfect candidate to actually get a footies card for FIFA 21 this Friday. Now, next up, we are going to be seeing Moses Simon. I think typically in the same boat, maybe a little bit less hyped. I did have his team of the season card, I believe last year, and that was a very, very nice card indeed. So I do think this would be appropriate. He does already have a five-star weak foot, I wanna say with four-star skill moves. It might be the other way around, but 99 pace is gonna be absolute pace beast. And he should have some other good stats as well. Shooting still at 93. I believe he has very, very high shot power. So that pretty much powers through. And that is going to be providing all of the goals at many different angles. He was an absolute beast for me last year. Fabinho is going to be a potential card in here again. He was actually quite good. He did have that inform center back version as well, if you do remember. So I do think he was definitely hyped over FIFA 21. He was quite usable, but now he's sort of hasn't really had a special card to keep up with all of these crazy ratings. So I do think Fabinho 96, maybe his base rating is already quite high. SBC fodder, if you like. So I do think this footies would have to be high as well, of course, the overall rating upgrade. So 
His stats maybe don't look too appealing as long as we do get the good pace. I think that offending physical, the passing as well is going to be absolutely crucial for this card and it is going to make him very, very good indeed. Dybala, one of the players on the thumbnail. I do think this is going to be an incredible card. We did have his player moments and I absolutely love that player moment. I would definitely hop him to FIFA again to try this Dybala card and that is the sort of cards EA Sports need to be selecting. Cards that people are going to be hopping onto the game for, maybe playing weekend league, trying them out how they are. This Dybala card is one of few that has actually got me excited. I mean, just look at those stats. I mean, you've got 96, 96 pace, 96 shooting, 99 dribbling, 97 passing. Absolutely not. I and mean, we will see if EA Sports want to involve some weak fit or skill move upgrades in this as well. That could be quite interesting with a few other cards as well. So Dybala, I really hope this card would get released. Would be an absolute beast and could be very, very high rated as well. Diata is going to be in here. We have thrown him in here. He did have that what if card, which was absolutely crazy. I remember coming up against this what if card many times and he was an absolute beast. So I I sort of don't want to see this card, but I think there's a lot of people excited as well, maybe to try this out. I could perhaps involve him in my league and team if he does get in. This is also another exciting card. Next up, we are going to be seeing Dest. I think this absolutely fits perfectly. This dynamic image in particular, it just looks really nice on the eye and the footies card design. I think he's also, as a player, perfect player to be getting a footies card. He had a future stars, which was fairly low, low rated, and he was OP and people did enjoy playing with him. But again, he does need a little bit of an update. So this would be perfect, maybe as an SBC. I think this is a perfect SBC at a well price. I think everyone would be pretty content with it. An objective, it, I think it's a little bit too good to be released as an objective because he's still has those special cards that are worth a little bit so i think an sbc would be nice and it would be appropriate for this card now next we are going to be seeing diego carlos this is a nice card as well la liga center back he's been a little bit forgotten we have the ramos sbc lots of other stuff going on but diego carlos i think would be quite good i did have his gold card right at the start of the game and he was an absolute beast for sure very very good pace always had good pace defending and physical as well so hopefully this is a card that we do actually get and i believe the last player in this video it is gonna be the main man wilfred zaha i think this could be a very very cheeky nice card it is sort of similar to saint maximin in a way in terms of fifa meta 99 pace 98 dribbling it should be very good but it's probably a little bit less than St. Maximin because of the nation link. But I think this could be an underrated card for that reason. And if he does get released as an SBC, EA Sports probably going to be doing St. Maximin, Zaha, a load of other players in a vote. So it would actually be quite hard for both of them to get a card. But either way, I do think they would be very, very good cards. Let me know down in the comments below. Did I miss out anyone? Did I miss out anyone? And who would you like to see as well in the 50s promo starting tomorrow? Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.